Yeah, I got to the point where I got to do the brakes on the rear of this 47 Chevy. I did the front last year, but and, and they work fine. But now I'm to the point. I had a wheel cylinder leaking on the back, and since these are a single system, you got to leak anywhere. You got no brakes, so I got to fix it. And I had all the parts, including the new shoes. Just a matter of getting the ambition up to do it. But I have to work on the M37. I have to tear the front end apart. Uh, you know, they've got, I think it's a spicer arrangement. Uh, in order to drive the front axle, there has to be a ball and socket, kind of, you know, that uh, that seals the differential on each wheel side. And there's a gasket in there, a kind of a big cork seal that seals that ball where this whole thing swivels on. One of them is leaking. Not a big deal, but my theory is okay. Anytime I'm going to take something like that apart, you don't know what you're going to find for sure. You know, I have the replacement parts for them. You know, a new old stock kit from the 60s. You know, it's a regular military part, so I can go ahead and put it together. But like I say, you never know when you pull something like that apart, you could find something else. So in the meantime, I have to make sure I have this working so I have the other vehicle. So I gotta put these brakes in. And, you know, it's something I just needed to get around to doing. But I was gonna do it before, but I ran into a snag because the brake kits that I got, because, like I say, I gotta replace that seals in that wheel cylinder. Well, it's funny because these are, you know, Ray Bestus parts. And you would think that they would be right, but, you know, made in China. I ran into this problem on the front wheel cylinders. You know, they got all the parts that you need in there, including new of these. But the seals that they come with are 1 and 3 sixteenths, which is not the right seal for a 47 Chevy. They take a one and a quarter. You know, there's there's no way that works. <laughs> and, and I don't know what they're thinking. You know, it used to be that you could go into any garage or service station, and you could buy as many of these as you wanted. They had a bin full of, of seals of different sizes. It's a little harder now because the DOT doesn't really want you rebuilding your own cylinders. They want you to buy a rebuilt master cylinder, or, or slave cylinder. Well, the same on master cylinders. Nobody wants to sell the kits anymore. Sometimes for this old stuff, you can find it. But usually the kit, I mean, really what you need is these. Well, I was able to go on, on eBay and I got, you know, a whole pile of the wheel cylinders that are inch and a quarter of the seals. So I'll be good for a while, but I like to keep a, a stock of these. Mm, a barred rock rooster. He's been watching me very closely. But, but these, you know, they'll probably fit in a different vehicle I have, but no big deal. No, they got the right ones. But the one thought I had, I really would have liked to. Uh, have had new emergency brake cables <coughs> to replace those when they were in there, but I'll have to live with it, you know. <coughs> chicken, go away. Well, you play something so that chicken. Yeah. <coughs> ah, I got here. <laughs> I don't think that's just going to rile them up. <laughs> but that's my job for today. Uh, this is the side that was leaking, but like I say, got all the parts, I'll do both sides, not a big deal. Uh, better to have it done now. 
and I actually have two different drums to put on because this is a used drum that I had that is not the best, particularly since I see one of these springs that broke. And so it's been running in there. But so I got the all the hardware for the brake. And it includes new ones of them. New ones of everything. Even these little caps that cover for your adjusters. Because that's what these are, they're manually adjusted, you know. You get in there with, back in here with a screwdriver and click, click, click. And these can be really sticky, so it's good to have new ones, but I'm going to put never seize on them when I put them in there. I'm not fond of working on brakes, but I've done it a lot. Uh, it, it, not that big a job. It's a It's an ugly, dirty job. You know, and you're dealing with asbestos on these old ones, so you kind of be don't want to be licking your fingers. But it'll go together. But that's not a good deal. You know, I don't like the idea that the, the set comes with the wrong seals, which, like I say, now can be hard to find. eBay, again, is your friend. But most parts stores don't actually carry just the seals anymore. They want you to buy the whole already built new, usually brand new, out of like Mexico or China, I'm sure in this case, but already assembled. But it's one of them DOT things. But I ran into that even on the road grader one time. I wanted to rebuild a master cylinder. Nope, can't buy one. Got to buy a brand new master cylinder. It was like I think it was like $600 for a master cylinder. Now, for these, I'm going to rebuild this master cylinder. works fine. But I had a kit on hand anyway. And i got to hope that that's the right size seal. And this is Dorman. But I was surprised. Ray Bestos, I mean, that's a big brand name. But my God, but, they, but they're making them in China now. And there's... Opportunity for error, and that certainly was. There's no way in the world those small seals would ever seal that up. And the book calls for inch and a quarter, and I got them. <laughs>